the sad thing about all of this, and not only this piece of property, they want that hillside for hundreds if not thousands of miles around. As you can see them in the air, all the trees are being attacked by the fir beetle, which uh, bores into the bark and then leaves large weeping sores, and then the spruce bud moth, which eats only the new growth. So this is height of spring, and every one of these trees should be tipped with bright green growth. But you'll notice you don't see any anywhere. And that hillside has a brownish tint to it. And all of these trees have a brownish tint. They're all being killed. In a very real sense, this, all of this, good portion of western Montana could be a pasture within 10 years. First, all these, look at how gray those trees are. This is, this is the height of spring. Look at the grass. The trees should be the same color. First they'll kill them all. Then the fires will come and they'll be apocalyptic. And then there'll be nothing. I'm not sure it's anybody's fault. And I'm not sure anything can be done about it. But there'll be nothing. Not just here. See, some of them are immune. So you can see that. Is that a tamarack? It's hard to tell. That's kind of immune. And the pines seem to be faring better. Uh, as do the larches. You can see the big green larch straight back there. But this this is this is not here. This is the hills of Butte. Look at those larches. Those larches are green. But then look at all the gray fur behind them. This is everywhere. Western Montana, Idaho. I think you're seeing an entire ecosystem change. There's your classic example of spruce budworm damage, albeit in a smaller tree. But that's what's happened at the tops of every one of these big boys. They've eaten the entire top out of it and they've eaten all of the new growth. And uh, the trees will survive that a couple of years running. But you can't eat only just the new growth. The, the trees need that to replenish. They need it to, to put on more needles for photosynthesis. And they're just not getting it. See the top of that one. And the top of that one. So you're in the middle of a, a massive ecological shift. Um, I guess. I guess a hard week, 20 below Fahrenheit, uh, a hard week or so will kill them. And we used to get those every year, but we haven't had one in quite some time. You know, I remember it when I was going to school hitting 30 below Fahrenheit and how, how difficult it was to get the cars running and how you put heaters in them and all that. And that was just, you just expected it in February and it hasn't done it in a long time. And so these, these things are just completely out of control if they don't get a brutal winter next winter. And not high snow. We've had high snow. Brutal cold. You know. Then they're going to lose everything. Of course, the last time we had one of those brutal winters, it killed all the orchards. So I, I guess it is a, a double-edged sword. But it's all going to be a pasture. And again, if you drive the roads of Montana, it's just, it's just staggering. It's, it's this spot, but it's everything within a thousand miles of this spot too. The whole force of northern, northwestern Montana and northern Idaho. The whole, they're just, they're all dying. Every bit of them, all dying. Climate warmed up a little. And this is what happened. 